Okay, they should be here any minute now. Rouge, I really want you to be on your best behavior to meet my uh, MLP friends. Because I really, really want you to get along with one in particular pony. Don't worry, Flame. I'm sure everything will be just fine. I hope so. Because if something goes wrong, then... Uh, I don't know if I'll be welcome back to Equestria again. Oh boy. Come on. Where are they? There they are. Woo! Finally. Come on in, ladies. Princess Celestia. Princess Luna. And, of course, the lovely Miss Rarity. <laughs> Hello, Flame. It's good to see you again. Hello. And how are you, Flame, darling? I'm doing fine, Rarity, and yourself. Oh, I've been doing just fine. You heard that we've been on vacation? Yes, I have. In fact, by the way, I have someone that I want you to meet. Rarity, I would like for you to meet the other jewel lover here in Mobius. May I introduce you to Rouge the Bat? Why, it's nice to meet you, Rouge. It's nice to meet you too, Rarity. So, I hear that you're a jewel lover like me. Yes, that is correct, darling. And the best part is, she owns a boutique in back in Ponyville. She owns a boutique. Oh, so you love making clothes. In fact, I do. And you see, the reason why is because I'm so beautiful. I just want everybody to see how beautiful I am. And of course, with a little bit of my help, I want to spread my beauty all around Ponyville. Through my clothes, of course. <laughs> oh, Rarity, you're always so full of yourself sometimes. Yes, well, Flame, you told us that you want to show us your jewels around here. Yes, of course. Anyway, anyway, to kick things off, you notice this thing on my back right here? Um, what is it? Oh, it's, uh, this right here. Oh, this. It's your crystal, remember? It's your crystal. Yeah, it's my crystal. See, uh, hang on, before we get started, uh, flamethrowers, if you remember correctly, my, uh, crystal was a whole lot more bigger than this, but I had it shaved down to shape my back. It's, uh, a little bit different, but it's something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, with this crystal, I, you see, there's a story behind this crystal. You see, many months ago, I actually, uh... You see, many months ago, I actually had my original wings ripped off by a uh, guy by the name of Bane. Uh, because there were some things going on. Because there were some things going on with an old friend of mine, and he uh, <laughs> cut a deal with him and stuff. And Bane tried to come back here to kidnap my wife. And I tried the best I can. The next thing you know, he ripped my wings off. I went into a coma, and then I was in the hospital for I don't know how long. Luckily, a few friends of mine told me about uh, six ancient crystals that can heal my wings and can give me my wings back. And so, me and a few friends, we went on a journey and we went to and we went to this different universe to find these six crystals. And we did, and we did, and all six of them combined into this one crystal. It's definitely something. After when I became a god and everything, the six crystals turned into this. Phew! It was great. It was great. I'm really happy that I actually had my wings back. Flame, darling, you told me that you always had wings. Yeah, I did. Like I said, uh... Yeah, like I said, my wings got ripped off. Luckily, with the crystal, I can do this. Wings, please! I got my wings back. This is awesome. Well, normally my wings are purple, but I guess blue could work. Uh, it's okay. I guess blue could work. But anyway, with these, with, but anyway, with this, with this crystal, I can do anything. I can summon any weapon I like. I can summon any weapon I like. All from this root. All from this universe called Ruby. Oh, you mean like the jewel ruby? Uh, somewhat, except this ruby is spelled 
R W B Y. Hmm, quite interesting. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, these are my wings. These are my wings. They're made out of crystal and crazy indestructible. In fact, anything I make out of this crystal is indestructible. But anyway, that's enough of talking about my wings. That's enough talking about my wings. Now, allow me to show you around my special vault. This vault contains the different types of, hang on, ugh, jewels and power-ups that we have here in the in Mobius and Rarity, I guarantee you there's a few in here I think you might like. Hang on. Uh, all right, it's open and close it behind us. There, I just closed the vault so that way no bad guy could get in here. Luckily, I can open the vault from the inside and out. <laughs> but anyway, here, let me show you this right here. This right here is what I got for Father's Day from my daughter. That's so cute. What is it? This is a special fusion crystal. She went on a long... She borrowed one of my portal rings. She borrowed one of my portal rings. And also, she, um... <laughs> used some of my rings to buy it and find it. It's actually a fusion crystal. It allows me to fuse anything. From weapons to forms. And, of course, I never tried it before. But it's... it's I'm going to be using it to fuse some uh of my friends it's definitely going to be something because fusions is really really common around here my brother and my friend set and my friend shadow they only fused those are the only sonic characters i know that can fuse but unfortunately i don't really know for sure if any other sonic character can fuse i don't know but anyway but anyway, uh, yeah, this, this special crystal is really special to me. It was a gift from Father's Day from, uh, my, uh, daughter. And, of course, <laughs> and, of course, I got a special gift from, uh, my wife. I don't want to talk about it, but it was awesome. And, uh, my brother Sonic, he also got a gift from his daughter, too. It was Chili Dogs. Yes, I heard that your brother really loves Chili Dogs. Oh, trust me, Sonic, he always munches on them like crazy. Every time I always turn around, I always see him at a restaurant ordering a chili dog. Ugh, you won't be catching me eating one of those disgusting things. Rarity, trust me, a chili dog isn't that bad. Are you kidding me? A hot dog with, ugh, very, very disturbing chili and not to mention cheese. Huh. Well, I guess now that I think about it, Applejack, she does always make chili sometimes. So I'm guessing maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, Rarity, trust me, it's not that bad. But anyway, yes, this crystal was a very special gift to me from my daughter. And I'm going to cherish it. And I'm going to cherish it. <laughs> when the time is right, I will use it. When the time is right, I will use it. Anyway, next gem. <laughs> oh man, this is a very, very dangerous gem. I told you guys about this one. This is the Phantom Ruby. Ah, so this is the Phantom Ruby you told us about. Yes, Luna, this is the Phantom Ruby. You see, Eggman, when he was evil, he actually stumbled across the Phantom Ruby. And he saw it can project images of, you know what you what you desire most or it can create illusions that can mess with your mind trust me and so he wanted to use it but then but then he came across this dude who was looking for power so eggman he infused him with the with the um with the phantom ruby and thus became our new villain otherwise known as infinite and let me just say, thanks to Shadow, Infinite was really, really bad and evil. Ugh. And he used the Phantom Ruby. And he used the Phantom Ruby to, um... Yeah, he, uh, used the Phantom Ruby to, um, create a whole mess of illusions of our past enemies. And he also, uh, 
started a war. But after when the war happened and I found Infinite, I, I, had, I forced him to go through surgery to get the Phantom Ruby removed. And boom, there it is right there. It is quite impressive. It looks very shiny. Rarity, easy. Don't, t careful with the Phantom Ruby. This is the original Phantom Ruby because here's the thing. Eggman, he created Phantom Ruby prototypes. Luckily, they all got destroyed. But this is the original Phantom Ruby, the one that was inside Infinite. Uh, you definitely got to be careful with this. That's why I have it in this indestructible glass case. See? Check it out. Virtually indestructible. Can't do, can't break through it. And only I can own, and, I, and only I can unlock it. <laughs> right now, the Flame Syndicate is trying really, really hard to get it. But, luckily, I have this thing under great security. <laughs> Anyway, next gem. Ah oh, man, this is a this is the newest addition to my uh, gem, to my uh, vault. It's a very very special gem that I'm still studying. It's called a fire ruby. It's called a fire ruby. It's very very powerful and strong. You see, and also rarity. I heard that Spike he had a fire ruby one time. Yes, but it never looked like this. That's because my fire rubies is a whole lot more different than the ones back in your world. This fire ruby is said to contain legendary fire powers. I found it in my old home. I found it at my old home. It was supposed to be passed down to me by my mother. It was supposed to pass down to me from my mother. She used it on her final battle against my father and Eggman. It was supposed to be passed down to me, but unfortunately she lost it when my old home got destroyed. Who destroyed it? It was a long time ago. You see, my father, he got jealous at the fact that my mom, she was training me and my sister to be the new god or goddess of fire. And it took all of his, you know, time to spend time with her. So, it's uh, a little bit bad. And then he turned to the one person who thought he could help him, Eggman. But what, Egg but what my dad didn't know was that Eggman, he was really trying to find the Dragonhog Island. And, long story short, he got, he, Eggman destroyed my island. He destroyed everything. My family, my friends, everything. Luckily, luckily, the remaining eight dragon hog, the luckily the the remaining eight dragon hogs, or not dragon hogs, the uh, hedgehogs, the elemental goddesses and gods, they all stuck around to fight against Eggman, and they lost their lives <sighs> trying to. And this gem, when I went back to my world, when I went back to my home. This was the only thing that was there. It's a, the fire ruby is supposed to be mine. I just gotta wait for the day that my mom is going to give it to me. Well, I'm sure one of these days you'll get it. Absolutely. Twilight, she thought she would never become a princess, but she did. Yeah. <sighs> I really am happy for her. But anyway, this fire ruby, Anyway, this fire ruby is absolutely precious to me. In fact, who knows where all the other gems are? This fire ruby was the only thing I found. But with a little bit of Rouge's help, I'm pretty sure she can help. And Rarity, with your gem tracking skills, maybe you can help out too, trying to find the other set find the other seven. Hmm, perhaps. Are they just as beautiful as this? Of course, they're gems. Of course gems are beautiful, obviously. <laughs> but anyway... But anyway... Next gem, check this out. Oh. Oh my. What is this? This is a... Uh, this is a key... This is a mega stone. I got it from another universe. You see, it allows me to evolve into a more powerful form. I'm not going to say what universe it's from. All I know is, is that it's a very, very powerful artifact. 
in fact, it's a, in fact, you can get you can get them almost anywhere in that world. It's uh definitely something. <laughs> you can get them anywhere in that world. All you need to do is just get the right money and uh yeah, it's definitely something. <laughs> you see, like I said before, is in order to evolve with this, you need two things. Well, three things. A bond, a bond between a trainer and it's uh <laughs> I honestly don't know what the heck, I don't know if you guys know what it is, but they're called Pokemon, I think. Oh, Pokemon. I know what they are. Oh, uh, Rouge knows. <laughs> I guess she'll explain the details later. But anyway, yeah, all you need is two things. A keystone, like this, a mega stone, and the bond between a trainer and Pokemon. You know, the bond that, you know, that, that just strengthens them. Anyway, I have this one especially made for me. It allows me to evolve without using a keystone or a megastone. Without using a megastone. It's definitely awesome. I love it. I really do love it very much. It's great. <laughs> and I haven't used it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely going to be awesome. Whew. Anyway, next gem. Oh, of course... Oh, of course we can't talk about we can talk about this Princess Celestia. This Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, uh, the pendant of harmony is almost complete. All I need is just the elements of harmony to transfer some of their power into it. Very good. Um, what is this? Oh, rarity. Uh, this is the pendant of harmony. It's a little experiment that me, Twilight, and Princess Celestia came up with. You see, what we do, see, what we did was, after that episode of Ask the Sonic Crew yesterday, after the episode of Ask the Sonic Crew yesterday, after that question, is was it possible to harness all of the elements of harmony all at once? And they thought, and everybody thought about it, and then we thought it had to be a little bit too dangerous for everybody to wield the elements of harmony alone. So, you had to be a very, very powerful person in order to do that. Like Princess Celestia. Princess Celestia, she managed to wield the power, the elements of harmony all by herself. But anyway, but anyway, so me, her, and Twilight Sparkle created this. It's called the Pendant of Harmony. It's a necklace that allows a user to use all of the elements of harmony's power. Oh, quite interesting, darling. And a great, and a great idea. I'm pretty sure it will work on our triumph against the evil flame syndicates. Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> we are definitely going to need it. Right now, I have to make a... Uh, right now, I have to make ten copies of it. Um, Flame? Yes, Princess Celestia? Um, change the order to eleven copies. Because, you see, I actually have two other ponies that, you know, would definitely love to have one of these. I think I might know who's def I think I might know who you got who you want to have one of these Starlight and Sunset. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, I'm sure I can make 11 copies of it. I'm sure I can make 11 copies. Anyway, anyway, next gem or treasure, whatever. Ah, the famous fire chain that I have. I'm wearing it right now. You see, it used to be my mother's. It was, you see, it's supposed to be passed down from, from fire goddess to fire goddess to fire goddess. But since I'm the first ever fire god, it was a, definitely a rare sight. It was definitely a rare sight. You see, all dragon hogs have them. You see, all dragon hogs have this fire uh, medallion. Well, not fire. It's basically a medallion that represents the element that they possess. Like this one. With this one, I represent fire. Then there's my other friends. They represent... Then there's my other friends. One represents ice. The other represents lightning. Then there's one that represents earth or rocks, whatever. Rep one represents water. Another represents air. Another one represents nature, and the other one represents lava. <laughs> Quite interesting powers. 
you must be a lead. You must be a great leader to your friends. Absolutely, because everybody knows out of all those elements, fire is the strongest. Because it not only can it destroy, but it can also create. Excuse me, but I'm having a hard time trying to wrap my head around this. Fire can create. Uh, rarity. Yeah, fire can create. Because think about it like this. If it wasn't for fire, because if it wasn't for fire destroying many different trees and nature and stuff, then we wouldn't have room to, uh, you know, have farms or create buildings and stuff. Of course, you know, buildings and stuff is a uh, a bit dangerous for the environment, but but think about it. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, this was once my mother's and this was the last thing I ever had when she uh, passed on. When she passed on, this was the only thing I had to remember her by. And of course, with this necklace, I was able to use her powers. I'm able to use her powers with it on. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. It's a really great power source. <laughs> Lots of people have been trying to get their hands on it, but nope. But nope, I am not doing that. <sighs> but anyway, this necklace is very, very precious to me. It's almost kind of like your cutie marks. They're precious to you guys because they represent who you are. And this necklace right here, it represents who I am too. I am the dragon hog of fire, the god of power. <sighs> it's definitely something. I can definitely see you cling on to it very well. Yeah, I do, Luna. It's one of the most precious treasures I have. And it's one of the very first things that I ever owned. <sighs> but enough talking about all my bad memories and stuff. Let's see my next treasure that I got here for you. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about these that I have here. I totally forgot these. What are these? Oh, um, one belongs to my brother Sonic and the others belong to my other siblings. These are the Royal Hedgehog Medallions. You see, many years ago, you see, many years ago, Eggman actually did take over Mobius. But back then, he went by the name Robotnik. <laughs> but little did he know was that, believe it or not, my mom, Queen Alina, she gave birth to three beautiful hedgehoglets who they were destined to defeat Robotnik. But they couldn't do it with a little, without the help of these three hedgehog medallions. What's so special about them? Well, they gave my brother and my they, well, they gave my brothers and my sister their powers. You see, the one with the red band right there, that's my brother Sonic's. You see, it gave him his power of super speed, and it also and it also turns into and it also turns into a uh, guitar that shoots lasers. That shoots lasers. <laughs> The one with the yellow band, that belongs to my sister, Sonya. And without it, and with it, she'll be, she uses a, a move called her Super Spin. And also, it turns into a keyboard that can transform, that, that can, uh, you know, turn into a uh, keyboard. I mean, it could turn into a handheld keyboard or a, um, excuse me. A laser gun. It's definitely something. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, the one with the blue band. That right there is my brother Mannix. Uh, one medallion. It can turn into a drum set, which allows him... Not only can it shoot lasers, but it can also create earthquakes. It can also create earthquakes. Oh, I almost forgot. With Sonya's, she can also use... She can also uh, turn it into a puff of smoke. She can also make a thing of pink smoke. It's definitely awesome. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, these are the hedgehog medallions. Now that my brothers and now that my brothers and sisters learned how to use powers without them, they don't really need them anymore. They don't need them anymore. I see. I can tell because Sonic, if I remember correctly, I saw that he was able to speed all around Equestria without his medallion. Yeah. Although, I never exactly met your brother or sister yet. 
Well, Celestia, don't worry. You'll meet Manic and Sonya one day. You'll meet them. I mean, you already met my mom, so <laughs> my sister and brother isn't too far off. Trust and believe me, you would love to meet my brother and sister. Because, trust me, my sister, she is crazy when it comes to, you know, meeting royalty. But can you imagine her meeting royalty from another universe? That's definitely going to be something. But anyway, but anyway, there were time. Oh, not only can it give them individual powers, but together they can also do all sorts of amazing things. Like, here's one amazing thing that it can do. Here's one amazing thing that it can do. You see, back in the day, Robotnik, he used to roboticize people, which means he would turn them into robots, which was just horrible, and make them forget who they are. Make them forget their family, make them forget their friends, make them forget about everything about themselves. So what he did was just that. But what the medallions can do together, they actually gave people back their sanity just for like a few minutes. Only for just a few minutes. When the people are roboticized, they make the medallions remind them to, for who they are. Just for like a brief moment. Just for like a brief moment. And then they go back to being robots. Ugh. Well, I'm glad none of your friends are robots. Well, except for my wife. She has a robot arm, and my mother-in-law, she has a robot arm and robot legs. But don't worry, everything's just fine. And same thing with my Uncle Chuck. My Uncle Chuck, he's a... He's pretty much a robot now. My Uncle Chuck, he's a robot. Uh. Oh, poor Flame. Yes, is there anything we can do? Don't worry, it's okay. My Uncle Chuck may be a robot, but he still, but he got his memories back. Oh, well, that's good. But does he sometimes wish he had flesh and bones again? Sometimes he does, but it's okay. Anyway, let me show you the next group of gems that I, that I have. Ah, what is this beautiful gem? Back off, Rarity. This gem is all mine. This little baby is known as the Master Emerald. Yep, Rouge, this right here is the Master Emerald. Celestia and Luna, you guys remember the Master Emerald? Yes, of course. This is what you this is what was in your ritual when you became the new guardian of the Master Emerald, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, that's right. This this rarity, this right here is the most powerful gem in all of Mobius, the Master Emerald, the sole controller of the Chaos Emeralds. Without this, my without this, my friend Knuckles' home, Angel Island, won't be able to float anymore. But now, but now, thanks to me, I gave up my blazing form. I gave up my blazing form so that way Angel Island can still float without the Master Emerald. <laughs> and let me just tell you, the Master Emerald does contain a lot of power. With just one touch, without, with just one touch, it can turn a dull person into a very, very powerful person. They just get absorbed with chaos energy and they get their special chaos abilities. You can use all sorts of things. You can use the Chaos Emeralds or the Master Emerald for all sorts of things. But here's the thing. You got to be really, really careful when it comes to this. Because if it shatters, then let's just say I'm going to pay. Let's just say I'm going to have a visit with an old friend. Or an old enemy. <laughs> yeah, let's just say it's going to be really, really bad. But anyway, it's really, really important not to break the Chaos Emeralds or the Master Emerald. Because let's just say the consequences can be very, very <clears throat> chaotic. Yes. Yes, that, yes, that is something. Well, I promise you, we will not break the Master Emerald. Or the Chaos Emeralds. Okay, good. Because we really don't want that. Anyway, let me show you the uh, other things that we have here. Check this out. Ooh, what are these? This, my dear Rarity, is... These, my dear Rarity, are the Glaze Emeralds. 
I don't really know much about them. I only use them to go into my blizzard form. Go into my blizzard form. It's really something. That's pretty much all that they can do. You see, when all seven of them come together, I can turn into my, bl into my blizzard form. It's definitely something. <laughs> I can control ice. It's definitely really powerful and strong. And it's uh, really awesome. I really do like them. I love them very, very much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't really know much about them, but they are really, really something. <laughs> In fact, get used to seeing the colors of them because you're definitely going to see more of the colors. But anyway, let's move on to the next things here. These are the Seven World Rings. My brother Sonic got them when he was traveling through the storybook of, uh, of uh, Aladdin or the uh, Arabian Nights. You see, these seven world rings are based off of feelings. And when, you, and when you use four of the seven world rings, you'll be able to go into a dark spine form. That's, that's what my brother Sonic says. Well, he was able to use four of the seven world rings. Sadly, I can only use three. Sadly, only I can use three because of, uh, yeah, I can't really, you know, say. But it's definitely something. They are quite precious and beautiful. Yeah, but we definitely do got to be careful with them. Like I said, they are based off of mood. Huh. Well, all right then. Yeah, it all depends on how you feel on when you use them. We definitely do got to be careful with them. Because if something bad happens, then let's just say not only will these, not only will these Seven World Rings cause the destruction of Mobius, but it will also destroy a very, very precious friend of mine's world. So, yeah, we try really, really hard not to screw up when we use these. Anyway, yep, the, anyway, yep, these are the Seven World Rings. Ooh, Flame, what are these lovely gems? What? What? Oh, these. These are the Soul Emeralds. They're sort of like the Chaos Emeralds. They're sort of like the Chaos Emeralds. But anyway, but of course, you know, they're different. You see, the Soul Emeralds, they're owned by my good friend Blaze the Cat. She's the guardian of them. But she does get a little bit tired guarding them, guarding them, so she lets me guard them. So she lets me guard them for a little bit, keep them all locked up in my vault. And whenever she needs their power, she can use them to go into her burning form. Go into her burning form. I use them to go into my blazing form. Well, I used to, but not anymore. But I can still use them, though. I can still use them. <laughs> of course, like I said, I don't have my blazing form anymore, but it's okay. But anyway, let me just say, these seven beauties, they are definitely very, very powerful. Oh, one more thing though. When it comes to Blaze protecting these things, do not play around with her. Because trust and believe me, you do not want to mess with blaze when it comes to protecting the soul emeralds she takes that job very 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 seriously why else do you think she always has a serious look on her face every now and then she does always have that serious look on her face because she always takes that job really seriously yeah so we definitely do got to be careful with um you know the soul emeralds don't make her mad do not make her mad and of course be really careful when it comes to these emeralds. Do not break them. Do not misuse them or anything. Because Blaze will definitely, you know, set you, well, a blaze. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, yep, these are the soul emeralds. My goodness. A lot, a lot of stories go around all these gems. Oh, you haven't heard nothing yet. Check out these gems. Ooh, what are these? These are the Chaos Crystals. These are the Chaos Crystals. I actually stumbled across them years ago. Uh, it's a long story behind the Chaos Crystals, but they do have the same energy as the Chaos Emeralds. They do have the same energy as the Chaos Emeralds. They're almost like miniature Chaos Emeralds, but uh, 
they're actually crystals. But anyway, they were given to me by a good friend of mine. They were given to me by my by a good friend of mine. Her name was uh Excuse me. Excuse me. But uh sorry, I'm having a hard time trying to remember her name. But anyway, Oh yeah, I remember. Her name is Aretha. Yeah. But anyway, she gave me these as a uh, a gift cuz you see, there's been a bit of a ri there's been a bit of rivalry between me and her and as a pre and as a peace treaty, she gave me these crystals. She gave me these crystals. They're very very powerful and strong. I really do love them very very much. Well, I'm glad you love jewels. Of course, I love jewels. Of course, I love jewels. They're very, very powerful and strong. Well, some well, some jewels are, but unlike Rouge, I don't steal them. Wait, Rouge, you steal gems? Well, I used to, but not anymore. Yeah, because you see, I told her if she steals any more gems, she's going to have to go to zone jail. Uh, but of course, she hasn't stolen anything in a year. She hasn't stolen any gems in a year, so... Everything's all good. <laughs> but anyway, back to the gems here. Check out these gems right here, Rarity. Whoa, what are these? These are the Dark Chaos Emeralds, or the Negative Chaos Emeralds. They were created by evil creatures known as the Menorex. You see, many years ago, me, my brother Sonic, and a couple of our other friends, and a few of our other friends, went on this journey in space went on this journey in space with our good friend Cosmo the Cedarin. You see, she was trying to collect all seven Chaos Emeralds to defeat the Menorex and to, uh, you know, stop their plan to take, over the, to take over the galaxy. Anyway, but what we didn't know was their true plan. You see, their true plan was to collect the Chaos Emeralds. But, of course, they thought all seven wasn't going to work out. So, they created this machine to copy a Chaos Emerald. To create a copied Chaos Emerald. Or a fake Chaos Emerald. And these right here are some of them. Whoa. These are fake Chaos Emeralds? Yes, they are fake Chaos Emeralds, but they actually have the same equal... They, they have the same equal power as a Chaos Emerald. But, it's fake. But, trust me... The power is 100% real. The power is 100% real. Just ask my brother Sonic. You see, you see, they're known as the negative chaos, and they know, they're known as the negative chaos emeralds. Reason why is because when Sonic uses them, he goes dark form. Dark form? I heard that Sonic has been in a many different variety of forms, but dark form? I've never heard of that. Well, Princess Celestia, let me just tell you, Dark Form is one form of Sonic that you do not want to mess with. Let's just say, when Sonic turns dark, you do not want to mess with him. Let's just say, that, that power that he has, he's both scared of, and, not to mention, he really, really doesn't like using it. Because, you know, he has to use these negative Chaos em Emeralds, and it's powered by anger. And trust me... My brother Sonic is hardly ever angry. Cocky, yes. Sad, maybe. But angry, hardly. So, basically, he hardly ever uses these emeralds. But when he needs to, to go dark form, you better best clear out of the way. Because you do not want to be near my brother Sonic when he goes dark form. Trust me, you don't. I've seen what type of damage he can do when he's in his dark form. I see. Well, I guess it is best if we, uh, you know, avoid Sonic when he goes dark. Yeah. How will we know when Sonic goes dark? Well, Princess Celestia, that's a good question. When you see Sonic uh, look like that he's in super form, but his, but his eyes are all white, and he's covered in like a dark black aura, and his fur turns black, that's dark Sonic. So you best better be careful when you see him. Oh, well, what kind of stuff can you do? Well, let's just say, it, like I said before, uh, when he's in dark form and it's a uh, feel, like I said, his dark form is filled by anger 
And you know how when sometimes when you get angry, you say things or do things you don't really mean to? Yeah. Well, let's just say when Sonic goes dark, he, uh... He sometimes ends up hurting the ones that he loves. I see. Yeah, well, he does it on accident. He does it on accident, so don't worry. Everything is all good. He doesn't always... He When he goes dark, he, uh doesn't know what he the heck he's doing. That's why he swears never to use dark form ever again. Only in an emergency he will. I see. Well, those are some very, very powerful gems. Yeah, we definitely do got to be careful with them. That's why I have them under security lockup. Because anybody, and I repeat, anybody would love to get their hands on this. But anyway, let me show you these gems right here. Now, these right here, these are the Super Emeralds. The Super Emeralds? Yes, they're supercharged Chaos Emeralds. You see, what I did was, was I cloned the original Chaos Emeralds, and I filled them with uh, more powerful energy to turn them into, to turn them into uh, Super Emeralds. And basically, when you use the Super Emeralds, you can go hyper. You can go hyper. What is hyper? Oh, it's, it's basically another form that Sonic has. It's basically when he's really, really powerful and strong. And that's when he has, like, a white... It's when, he's, when his fur turns, like, whitish silver or whatever. And he has, like, a rainbow aura around him. It's definitely something. Hyper form is one of Sonic's strongest forms. Or so it was before he went on all these other adventures. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Hyperform is definitely a rare form for Sonic. He hardly ever uses it, but when the chips are down, he may need to. And with Hyperform, and if my friend Shadow, he also goes Hyperform as well, those two, they can fuse together to form the legendary Shattuck the Hedgehog. Hyper Shattuck, to be exact. It's definitely something. <laughs> well, that is definitely really powerful. You said, you said that right, Celestia. Yes, well, d well, you always talk about the Chaos Emeralds. Well, would you mind showing us them? Of course, without a doubt, Princess Luna. And here they are. These are the legendary Chaos Emeralds that I kind of been babbling on about. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, yes, these are the legendary Chaos Emeralds that everybody, and I repeat, everybody wants to get their hands on. All because of what? Their power. And they're, mo and they're the most precious treasure in all of the galaxy, in all of the universe, to be exact. Rouge definitely knows, Rouge definitely knows about them. Ain't that right, Rouge? Rouge? Are you trying to tell me that you not only were trying to go after the Master Emerald, but you were also trying to go after the Chaos Emeralds? Well, um, okay, yes. You see, the thing is, they're just so shiny, and I want them all for myself. You see, the thing is with Rouge is she has an addiction when it comes to, uh, shiny gems. When it comes to things like rubies, emeralds, diamonds, and all sorts of different types of gemstones. She will always attempt to get them. And, like every other thing, when Rouge wants something, she doesn't stop until she gets it. Yep, it's just like my motto. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well... Yeah, that is definitely how uh, Rouge rolls, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. But like I said before, these seven, these seven gems, they actually helped me and Sonic and all of our friends through all sorts of things. We use them to protect. We use them to protect Mobius. We use them as a power source, and of course, we use them to go super. It's basically like a golden form that we have. And, with one very powerful gem, we can perform a very powerful thing called Chaos Control. It's where we can, it's where we can stop time, or we can teleport. Hmm. So, in a way, we don't really need to use your instant transmission. Yeah, somewhat like that. 
but I don't really use chaos control like that. I leave that to my friend Shadow the Hedgehog. Believe it or not, Shadow, he gets a little bit angry when, you know, other people besides him uh, are using chaos control because he always, because he was always able to use chaos control. Then Shadow, then Sonic came along, then my friend Silver, well, he's not my friend anymore, he's my enemy. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, there's lots of characters who was able to use chaos control besides Shadow. Ugh. And let me just tell you, Shadow, he really does get mad whenever people sort of kind of copies his abilities and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, these are the Chaos Emeralds. And let me just say, like I said, these gems have definitely gotten us out of all sorts of trouble. But anyway, let me show you something else. Well, of course you guys already know about the uh, Elements of Harmony, right? And Rarity, look, there's your element right there. Ah, uh, yes, the element of generosity. Yep. <laughs> yep, the element of generosity. Ah, I still can't believe how great you guys are when it comes to these things. I mean, Twilight with the element of magic. This is just m amazing. Fluttershy. Wow. <laughs> Fluttershy with the element of kindness. It's just great. Applejack. Applejack with the element of honesty. It's awesome. <laughs> Pinkie Pie with the element of laughter. It's too funny. <laughs> Rainbow Dash with her element of loyalty. And finally, you, Rarity, with your element of generosity. And I still can't believe it. When that, when that sea serpent thing was, a cry, was crying because of his mustache, you sacrificed your tail. Yeah, I do remember that. Wait, she sacrificed her tail? Yeah, she cut off her, yeah, she cut off her tail. Yikes. Yeah, well, don't worry, darling. It grew back. Yeah, I know. Of course, we all know about these, so let me just show you what I discovered. Check it out! Oh my, what are those? I have never seen those before. Well, Princess Luna and Rarity, let me enlighten you guys. These are the elements of dishonesty. The elements of dishonesty? I have never heard of that. What in Equestria is that? Well, basically they're sort of like the elements of harmony, but these are the opposites. They work for evil. Of course, I'm the only one who knows how to control them. But unfortunately, I can't power up with them. I can't power up with them or anything. The only ones I can use are the elements of harmony. But sadly, I can't use the elements of dishonesty. Oh well, it's fine. But it would be kind of cool though to, uh, you know, <laughs> this is definitely uh, really interesting. Princess Luna and Rarity, I highly advise you not to tell Twilight about these because if she does find out about them, she might get a little bit too curious about them, thinking maybe she might end up using them. And I really don't want the evil to consume her or anything. Uh, who is that knocking? Someone's knocking on the vault door. Wow, okay. Well, let me see who the heck that is. Uh, hello, who is that? Ah, I knew I heard talking in here. Huh? Oh my gosh, Sarah! <laughs> hey, honey, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, great. Oh, come on in, I have somebody I want you to meet. There, shut the vault back. Anyway, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Rarity, I would like you to meet my wife, Sarah. This is the this is the woman I was telling you about. Ah, it's really nice to meet you. Likewise. Yes, it's really nice to meet you, darling. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, Flame, who are they? Oh, they're my friends from another universe. They're basically from the um, MLP, or My Little Pony universe. I was just showing them around... I was just showing them around the vault where my gems are. Oh, well, did you show them about mm, your new item in here? New item? 
Are you holding out on us, Flame? Of course not. I would never hold out on you. I was just getting to that until Sarah came in here. Anyway, check this out. Anyway, check this out. Uh, as I was as, as I was leaving Ponyville, as I was leaving Ponyville, that one time I ended up teleporting there. <laughs> um, the ponies actually made me this. It's my very own element. It's my very own element. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, it is amazing. But the big question is, what kind of element should I use? I mean, what kind of element is it? I really don't know what the heck I should call it. I really don't. All I know is, is that it's a very, very powerful element. Hmm, well, I'm sure one of these days you'll come up with something. I hope so. But anyway, but anyway, that's it for the gems in here. That's it for the gems. And let me just tell you, all these gems, they have been through so much when it came to, uh, you know, all this stuff. It came to all, it just been through so much. And of course, the only gems of, and of course, the only elements of harmony that I don't have in here are uh, sunsets and starlights. Those are the only two elements of harmony I don't have in here. Can you guys please talk to them and let me know that I, and tell them that I can protect their elements? Of course. Great. Because I'm pretty sure lots of things is definitely going on. Well, we haven't seen sun, well, we haven't seen, you know, Starlight Shimmer for a long while, ever since, uh, that accident. Oh, yeah. That time she switched your cutie marks. Yikes. That was definitely something. Yeah, well, at least she switched them back. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's it for the tour. For I guess that's it for the tour. I guess uh, you guys can hang out in the castle for a little bit. Oh, Flame. Uh, yes, Rarity? I would love to spend some time with you a little bit more and uh, have you teach me more about these gems. And perhaps maybe I can, you know, share some information with Twilight. Of course. You can, in fact, spend the night if you want to. Can I, Your Majesties? Absolutely. It's fine with me. Excellent. Anyway, Flame, would you mind telling, would you mind, you know, telling me a little bit more about these gems? Well, of course. Oh, but first... <laughs> But first, uh, I want to talk to my wife, Sarah, real quick. Um, Sarah, listen, I hope you don't mind Rarity spending the night here, uh, if that's okay with you. Oh, of course. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Yeah, because honestly, yeah, because honesty, she is amazing. She is amazing, and she's a fashionista, and she knows all things gems. In fact, all of the ponies, they sort of remind me of myself. I mean... Think about it. <laughs> Rarity, she's a fashionista and loves gems just like me. Pinkie Pie, she loves making people laugh and it's, she's funny and stuff. Uh, sorry, Twilight, she's very, very smart just like me. Fluttershy, she loves hanging out with animals. Applejack, she's strong and powerful like me. And Rainbow Dash, she's of course very, very fast when it comes to flying just like me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you're somewhat my pony. Uh, what the world? Um, well, you're not just a pony, you're a stallion when it comes to me. Uh, honey, not in front of company. And besides, you just had a baby. You don't want to get pregnant again, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies, uh, I'll be more than happy to escort you back to Equestria. I'm pretty sure Twilight and her friends can uh, handle Equestria, you know, alongside with uh, Princess Sadence. But I guess it won't mind if I, uh, you know, send you guys back home. We wouldn't mind that at all. In fact, Sarah, you can come with me if you want to. All right. Okay. And Rarity, we might stop by your work. We might stop by your uh, boutique, so that way you can pack up some stuff, so that way you can spend the night here. Okay. That would be lovely. In fact, I would definitely like to spend a little bit more time with you and Rouge. Well, all right then. Anyway, guys, hang on to me. We're heading to Equestria. 
We're heading to Equestria, uh, aka Ponyville, obviously. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, hang on, ladies. Oh, and, uh, ladies, if you have... Oh, ladies, I almost forgot. If you want to use any one of these gems, just let me know, okay? And, uh, and not to mention, you can also sign that right there. It's a uh, little lease right there. It, it's a little lease right there. It just let, it's a little sign out sheet and sign in sheet. So that way, when you sign out a gem, just write your name and tell me which gem you took out and make sure you sign your name and tell me what you, uh, and tell me what gem you brought back. Okay? Right. All right, anyway, ladies, hang on to me. Oh, and uh, flamethrowers, let me know in the comments down below what My Little Pony character do you guys want me to introduce uh, to Mobius? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's lots of them you guys want me to do. And guys, now that Rarity has met Rouge, do you guys want me to uh, have the other My Little Pony characters meet their, Ru meet their Sonic counterparts? So just let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do that. And of course, I'll create a video making it. Anywho... Anywho, guys, uh, anywho, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys need me, I'll be heading off to Equestria. Oh, and, uh, by the way, guys, tomorrow, be sure to keep an eye out for a video where you guys been begging for it. I'm gonna be going out on a date with Tikal the Echidna. But anyway, later, guys. Instant transmission.